What's up guys? This is James with Escaping the Neon. I'm out here today doing some trail work. It's my lunch break right now. Figured I'd spend it out in the woods. Get some nature and a nice walk in. Clear my thoughts, clear my head. And uh, document a little progress. Or possibly lack thereof as of today. Um, so a few things kind of disappointing. Uh, one being, I was uh, there's a recall on my car that they were hopefully gonna put a new motor in. My car is totally experiencing these problems, um, but anyway, they called me today, said they didn't see the problem, uh, so they're not gonna replace the motor, which totally sucks because I was hoping to get a new motor at 100,000 miles, which would have been an awesome, uh, lucky day. But no dice. Um, so anyway, life goes on. Um, but uh, word of warning, never, ever, ever get a new car. And if you are, definitely don't get a ridiculously high interest loan like a complete idiot like I did. Uh, but live and learn. I'm documenting progress, both successes and failures. And uh, about four years ago, that was a massive fail on my part. But what are you going to do? Hey, a nice little creek. I think I'll head down here. Um... But yeah, so anyway, uh, this week, unfortunately, I'm not sure if I updated this or not yet, but uh, obviously I have a farmer's market every Saturday, but unfortunately for me, uh, I got my second COVID vaccine on Friday and uh, got super sick Saturday, had a wicked fever, uh, so I couldn't go to the farmer's market. Hey, look at this. Nice little creek. Great spot to have lunch or sit around during lunch at least um but yeah so got super sick friday or saturday morning when i woke up i popped everything for friday and uh just felt super ill when i woke up uh saturday morning so that sucked um and i had to flake out on the farmer's market and of course i had everything popped and ready and paid for uh luckily it's got a decent shelf life on it um so this Friday I won't really have to pop too much new. I'll just pop a couple extra varieties that I'll have there at the market. Um, so anyway, you know, it's all good. Um, what are you going to do? You can't, can't show up to the market sick. Um, so anyway, so that'll be good. We'll have a couple extra flavors and uh, maybe some of those will catch on and we'll get something good out of it. Um, so I've really let myself down as far as getting the website copy together. Um, really got to get on that uh, i got a guy coming to take photos to family friends coming out in june um so i'm gonna get uh some at least photos of the popcorn and coffee uh so it's not like my website could really be live or at least in good shape until then anyway but i really want to get that copy done just get it off my back uh but i haven't done that yet so i'm working towards that i did go to a nursery yesterday after work uh nursery slash farmer's market slash brewery and uh i did talk to them about uh wholesaling kettle corn from me and she said she would buy it um assuming i could get it in a smaller bag um so that could be cool um so we got some potential there um but yeah so i'm gonna start selling kettle corn to her uh, my main wholesaler they'll start here in a couple weeks so things are going to get a lot more busy a um, couple other things that uh, i've been contemplating uh, my old boss first of all um, as i've mentioned a few times i'm trying to do some real estate investing um, and i did just kind of luck out on the uh, cryptocurrency market um, so i sold two-thirds of my cryptocurrency and uh, profited like 17 grand i took uh, 30 or 1350 out so thirteen thousand five hundred dollars um, I took that out and basically I'm either going to use that as the down payment on my investment as a uh, multifamily property uh, which would be my new obviously living space um, or if I can find a good deal on another form of investment property I'd be willing to do that too um, my dad, you know, we've got a piece of property that's been in the family for years and years and years. Um, it's in a kind of a depressed area of Pennsylvania, but um, it's got a good bit of woods. It's about 60 acres, and it's got a house, uh, old farmhouse, and then a good bit of woods. Um, so I was considering 
potentially putting a yurt uh, out in the woods there. There's a ton of Amish people up there um, that I'm feeling I could probably pay uh, to clear a little campsite out and put a yurt out there and uh, get it up on Airbnb. Um, I've seen a few of those that seem relatively profitable. So I'm digging into that, uh, seeing what I have to figure out from a, uh, you know, county code perspective uh, in order to get that going. Um, also, my old boss, who I'm still really close with, uh, he has a vacation house on what he calls an island. It's actually where two rivers meet. Uh, not really an island, but it's certainly damn close to an island. He's trying to get rid of that place, um, and we had talked, you know, two, three years ago about me potentially buying that place. He does have a potential buyer for it um, that he said was going to let him know towards the end of this month, so I did let him know that I was, you know, actively willing to put an offer on that and see if we can't figure out, uh, you know, some way for me to buy that with a solid down payment of what I made off the crypto, um, and then maybe potentially some owner financing or something like that. Um, so those are, that's kind of where I'm at with the real estate investing side of things. Um, I'm definitely looking, uh, you know, still learning, still trying to figure out as much as I possibly can. Um, I'm on another Robert Kiyosaki book right now, which is, I've been really enjoying his stuff. Uh, I just think he puts everything kind of in a new light and it's, uh, you know, at least eye opening. Um, so I've really been enjoying that and that one is called, uh, who took my money. Um, really good so far. Um, I got about four hours left, but as you know, I'm always out here learning, always got my headset on, always got an audio book in, uh, or a podcast that's going to hopefully move me forward in my life and my career. Uh, so I highly recommend that. I think that's been the biggest overall factor of, uh, you know, at least me moving towards something successful. Um, another thing with, uh, my old boss at the company I used to work for, uh, it was a commercial renovation company. Um, and he's been begging me to come back for a long time because, um, you know, it's a small company and basically a lot of the people are kind of aging out of the company. Um, and I think he's kind of looking for somebody to take the reins over. So I have been tossing that idea back and forth in my head as to whether I should potentially pursue, um, talking to him and trying to take that business over because I definitely think that, uh, he'd be willing to let me do that, uh, for the right price, of course. Um, but all these books that I've been listening to, you know, about the tax benefits of, you know, businesses and so on and so forth, uh, it's really got me thinking. And, um, you know, with, with all the goals that I have, um, I think owning a construction company could be seriously beneficial for me. Uh, so it's definitely something I'm tossing around. Um, but, you know, we'll see how it plays out. I'm still waiting to hear. Uh, back from this manager promotion that I'm hoping to get here. But if I don't get that, um, it may be time for a change. Um, but anyway, of course, I'm still going to side hustle, still going to grow my own businesses and show you guys how I'm doing it and hopefully uh, show you my success eventually. Um, but as of right now, we're not there. And it looks like we're going to have a good, good bit more videos to go until I reach that point of success, but it's all a process. Um, so I hope you all are having a great day. Um, today's Tuesday for me, uh, definitely a slow weekend, slow recovery for me. Um, but I'm feeling great now and I'm just going to get out there and have a good week, finish this week out strong. Um, Got a few things we're going to play around with. I did message the uh, the girl that was supposed to be my business partner at the uh, potential storefront there in Poolsville. And uh, I totally opted out. She, she's she been trying to still work that deal. It just doesn't seem like a good deal to me um, for a lot of reasons. Um, but I did tell her that I would be willing to potentially do like a CSA style website. Uh, so that way we don't have to deal with having a storefront. We don't have to deal with hiring personnel right off the bat and we can kind of judge the need for you know how many people want this local produce local items and uh, you know see if it's worth renting a storefront after that um, and I'm still waiting to hear from my friend who potentially knows somebody that's got a warehouse space um, that I could kind of house the popcorn company at 
Uh, so a lot of things going on. Feels like it's moving slow, but in reality, it's going pretty good, moving pretty fast. Um, you know, we're making at least slight progress every day, and I think that's the most important thing, at least at this stage, is just, you know, taking those small bites out of the huge pie. Um, you know, eventually there'll be nothing left, so we'll be at that point of success. But, um, but anyway, right now I'm just kind of collecting my thoughts, taking it all in, and, uh, you know, kind of figuring out what the next move needs to be. Um, and I know that next move is just growing business, um, getting my money into different forms of assets like real estate, um, and yeah, just moving forward. So I'll keep on documenting. Um, hopefully my, uh, attitude will pick up a little bit here later in the day, but I think, uh, hearing the news about the motor of my car, I was super excited for that. Really hoping that would go through. Definitely disappointing. Um, had a few small letdowns, but you know what? That's the game. That's how it goes. So no worries. But uh, looks like my lunch break's getting close to over here. So I'm going to get back to the trail maintenance. And uh, you all get back to your day, and I'll update you soon. I hope you all have a great one.